I'm going to show you how to make a modern certificate in five minutes and it starts right now. Hi there, it's Dennis Joshua from The Lighthouse TV. If you want to learn how to make creative designs with Photoshop and Corel Draw, start by clicking the subscribe button and hit on the bell so you won't miss any video. I have a resource here which I'll be using to make this design. A link in the description will be there so you can get this resource. And let's go straight into Photoshop. First, I have to create a new document by pressing Ctrl N. Make sure your document type is international paper and size is A4. Okay. And I don't want my certificate to be in portrait. I need it in landscape. So I have to unlock my background and press image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. Now we are good to go. So use your pen tool to create a shape like this. Sorry, I have to make a new layer. So the shape falls on the new layer okay right click on your shape fill parts go to color add a temporal color which i'll be changing very soon okay okay sorry my photoshop sometimes shows black don't don't mind my photoshop okay right click there delete parts and you have something like this Ctrl Z. Okay, now I have to add a gold color gradient on this blue shape. Now go to your blending options, gradient overlay. I've already created a custom gold gradient here, and I'm going to add the hex code for this gradient in the description. So check if you really want this gold, check the description or maybe I'm going to make a tutorial also how to make a gold gradient. Okay. I want to scale it this way. I need it in this angle. Okay. Rotate the gradient to 90 degrees. Okay. Now I want to duplicate this. I need to duplicate this gold gradient. Like press Ctrl J click and drag make sure you press shift when dragging this see what it is if i leave the shift key but if i press shift it's on a straight line click it and bring it this way okay and i have to change this gradient overlay change the angle to Okay, I feel this is okay minus eight degrees okay now it's on top of the first one so I have to take it under the first layer click your layer and drag it down here okay it's now under so I need to adjust this gold by pressing ctrl T and drag here happy with that okay now i need to create another layer pick your pen tool to create another shape okay this is what i'm doing right click fill part color sorry color and i need to use this blue color the hex code will be on the description okay right click delete part and it's covering the gold gradient so i'm going to take this down under the boat and this is what i have so now i need to duplicate all these to this other angle what i'm going to do first is to select all the layers press shift and click on all the layers ctrl g to group them then press ctrl j to duplicate press shift and drag to this other angle then ctrl t right click and flip horizontal right click and flip vertical 
and this is what i've got so adjust it till it is settled here once you're happy okay now we we are going to add our typography so this is you click on the type to activate your cap locks and start typing this certificate of appreciation sorry my photoshop blinks whenever i'm typing don't mind this i'm going to go through all this even with it and this is certificate of appreciation so we have to adjust our font size to let's say 48 okay and they adjust the spacing here okay happy with that okay i'm taking this up here you can still add just the size than the certificate of appreciation and i'll change this color to to black okay and that's okay for me so let's continue with this this certificate is presented to okay bring it here and adjust the font size to 14 please don't mind my photoshop it blinks when i'm typing okay to alex wesley ctrl t and adjust the size whenever you are clicking on a text like this you don't drag here you don't drag here you don't drag here or here you drag at the edges edges so you won't warp your image or your typeface okay bring it here reduce the font size a little and adjust it here your photoshop has these guidelines to guide you on where to drop elements okay i'm going to change this to sorry change the font name to car Kaufman, okay and still change the font size okay so under here i would like to add a stroke under this name to simply click on your rectangle tool and create this stroke it's very simple and bring it under here okay and activate your type tool again and start typing this as an appreciation for his total contribution to the growth of this organization okay Ctrl A and change the font 
to Futura and I think this is okay so as an appreciation is total contribution to the growth of this organization so you can break this into two control a and centralize this under here okay adjust the spacing control a click there and drag okay i think that's okay now so let's adjust our spacing make sure you press shift when dragging this so you won't lose the position okay take this up a little now i want to import my resource here a link to get this resource will be on the description so kindly check to download it and personalize your design okay and i activate my type to 2020 uh word okay control a and i need a bolder font remember all i've been designing i'm using only two typeface which is futura and kahoofman adjust this okay we are almost done click on your type tool and do this date it should be here okay i don't want it to be bold so i need a okay that's okay control j to duplicate and take it to this other side change this to seek nature and also i need a stroke here simply pick your rectangle tool and create this okay close this ctrl j and drag it to this other side and this is okay so this is the end of our design you can always learn how to design like this simple and classic this is a modern certificate thanks so much for watching this video if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button below this video and make sure you hit on the bell so you won't miss other videos like this thanks so much for watching